Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. I had a couple questions with the Vaco metric flip socket yesterday. A couple different questions about compatibility back and forth. I tried to make it a short and put it all into one, but I just couldn't fit it into a minute. So I'm just going to make a real quick video. Uh, Ellis at Ellis5047, he asked if it was possible to put two of the Vaco bits onto the three inch um, flip socket shaft, which I keep in my little stubby here. It's my super stubby where you can, you know, put the bits in there. This is that smaller shaft. He wants to use a 1012 and a 1314. Well, again, here's the Vaco bits. This is a Klein three inch shaft. We're gonna take off the 1314. We're gonna also take off the 1012. You can see there, that's the Vaco shaft. And I can put the 1012 on here. Seats in just fine. If I go with that 1314 though, it doesn't give me enough room to be able to hook that into a screwdriver and have that seated if you need the magnet. Now, you can push the 1012 up and then also push this up further, still get that 1012 to grab, but you won't have the magnet and then you can use it, but you can't use it in a way that you're gonna be able to have that actually seat and be able to use that magnet. So I would say no, you can't use the 1314 and the 1012. Now you can use the 1012 if you put that there and then also the 7.8. I've got that seated down in there all the way, that pushed up, and now I'm able to grab a hold of that. So you can do 10, 12, and 7, 8 on the 3 inch, but you can't do this 13, 14. You just don't have enough shaft and to be able to get all those on there at one time. So I hope that answers your question at LS5047. The other question was, is it possible to even mix the Klein flip socket and the Vacos together? Of course, you can see that it works on this shaft. So obviously it's going to be able to, I can take off this, I'm going to take off this one, I'm going to put on that 10-12 because there's that 10 millimeter that we all uh, love so much and you know you can see I can put that right up there in between the quarter and 5 sixteenths and then also go back and put the 7 sixteenths and the half on and then let's just say just for giggles to make sure it fits on the top, we'll take the 13-14, snap that in and you got the same magnet and everything. So. Yes, they are compatible because it's the same exact shafts. Uh, so you can mix and match. You can put some metric on one. You can put uh, some SAE on one, mix them together, however you want to do that. But again, at LS5047, I actually kind of told you that it should work. And you can put them on there, the 1314 and that 1012. But after I was able to get out here and check it, you know, you just don't have enough room for both those on there to be able to still be able to grab it with your screwdriver. So. Hope that's useful. Hope it answers your questions. Again, they are compatible. You can mix and match. It's just a matter of this small shaft. There's not enough shaft to use the bigger flip sockets, which actually I'm not even sure that you can use. Let's go with the 7 sixteenths and half inch, and then also the 11 30 seconds and 5 eighths. And if I seat that down in there all the way, it's the same problem. Probably I might have enough to grab that. No, so... You still can't use the two SAE biggest flip sockets in that way either. So it's the same exact problem. So there's the answers to those two. I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps everybody out with that. They are compatible. They are interchangeable. The shafts are exactly the same. You just have different size sockets. So, But I hope it was useful. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video.